I just realized the whole time that my microphone it wasn't on, so I'm really upset about that. I had done the whole video up there without my microphone on. Amanda was on, so you might have been able to hear some of my audio from that but uh, <laughs> always something goes wrong when I'm making a video. Anyway, we are here at the top of this, um, I don't think this is the Monument Peak, I think the Monument Peak is still over there. I had looked at Google Maps before we came up here and I was looking for this, uh, this, section, this wall right here actually. This is what they call as the East Bay Wall or the Berkeley Mystery Wall. So the story behind this wall is actually quite mysterious and nobody really knows what the origins of this wall are. First one that I read about was, it was first discovered by the Ohlone tribe. I don't really know how to say it, but they're the Native American tribe native to the Bay Area. So the Spanish explorers, when they came over here, they found these piles of rocks, like these, these, this wall of rocks that goes all the way from San Jose up to Berkeley. And so they apparently, these, the explorers, you know, they asked the Indians, they're like, did you build this? And they said, no, this was here when we got here. So I'm not aware of any people that were here earlier than that. If it wasn't the Native Americans or the Spanish explorers, if it was here before them, that's really an interesting question. So we're gonna kind of just walk along this wall, explore it a little bit and kind of appreciate it for its mystery. The hike up here probably took us what about two hours two and a half hours we got here at like 3 30 mm -hmm. and 6 so yeah two and a half hours. yeah it wasn't too hard i guess there were some steep spots but otherwise not too difficult yeah it was a pretty easy hike there was a lot of sun though not much shade mm -hmm. there's probably like two spots in the whole hike that had shade so this was the first part of the wall we're about to head to the longer portion of the wall just behind us, or just in front of us. I think that most people that come up here don't realize the mystery behind these walls. It's really strange. Like just looking at this, you like think, what's the purpose of building these walls? Because they don't, they don't keep anybody out. They don't keep any cattle in. There, there's really no <laughs> point in it. Marking somebody's uh, territory or something. They're like, this is my yard, this is your yard. Now the other thing that is uh, kind of strange is that, you know, some people say that the Chinese built this. There was some Berkeley professor that was saying that, uh, I think he, you know, said Chinese like to build walls or something with the Great Wall of China. <laughs> and so, <laughs> I don't know, but he was saying that it's possible that they built this. And I think some other evidence that he cited was that they had discovered uh, wreckage of some Chinese ships that predate the Spanish explorers, or predate, you know, Columbus even, I think, discovery of the Americas. And, you know, it's an inter inter interesting theory. You know, I, I don't know why anyone would build such a long wall starting all the way from San Jose up to Berkeley. It doesn't make sense to me. That part is fenced off, so I don't think we can get over there. Might be able to go up there and then walk closer to it up at that top of the hill, but I don't think we have time to get all the way up there. But this wall, you can see, goes all the way up here and then goes up the mountain up there and towards the, that second radio tower up there. You know, I really wish that the drone laws weren't so strict in California, especially in the East Bay parks, because this would be incredible, you know? Imagine just flying your drone and following the wall all the way down there as far as you can go. That'd be a lot of fun. It'd actually be a really, really great scene too because the whole way up here we've just seen this really beautiful scenery. A lot of cows too. It spooked some cows with the drone, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> this wall is really crazy. You can see it goes all the way down here, all the way down the hill. It kind of uh, has disappeared a little bit in a, some portions over there and then it shows up again there goes down the hill, really nicely built, put together over there. Keeps going and keeps going down there. And even down there, I wonder if you can see it out there kind of in the distance. Well, we're headed back down now. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of time to spend up here since we took so long getting up here. There's like an old abandoned ghost town somewhere over there in some of like the wetland. Unfortunately, it's on private property and I've heard that people have gotten chased off 
you know, back in Hong Kong, it just feels so free to explore stuff. Like we even took those like maintenance trails a lot of the times and just wandered everywhere. And, you know, we never got in trouble for anything. But here, yeah, if, if I've seen people get in big trouble for trespassing like on a private property or... Or you have to pay for everything. Oh yeah, you have to pay for everything. Like literally everything is paid. Some people have been commenting on my videos. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit fatter. <laughs> Sometimes I post, I, I, I've been posting a lot of videos of Hong Kong because I have so many videos to edit. Like I, I haven't even gone through half of what I have. Not all of it is usable. Um, I wasn't too good at like recording videos back then. I've gained like, uh, honestly, I think when I was in Hong Kong, I, I made it down to like 65 kg. And the other day I weighed myself and I feel like I've been exercising. I've been trying to put it off. You know, we've been doing more hiking, we've been doing more running, but I'm like 90 kg. <laughs> what is it? I mean, I, I get it. Like most of the day, back in Hong Kong, okay, you know, with my work schedule, I could go out during the daytime, at least, you know, after 1 p.m. And, and do whatever I wanted. And I would spend my day out hiking, walking, of course, you know, Hong Kong is a very walkable city. I don't know, I just did a lot of physical activity and I lost a lot of weight. Now I come back here, my work schedule has gone back to normal. I'm working during the daytime. And so I started gaining a lot of weight. Plus I think stress, it does that to you. When you are highly stressed, you, you tend to put on a lot of weight. It makes it harder to lose it. So I'm trying to, you know, de-stress myself. I've been trying a couple different things, hoping that it helps. And I think it's been helping. I've been feeling all right the past few days, especially getting to come out here and hike. It's, very relaxing, especially when you get a look at this uh, beautiful view over here and uh, just take in all the fresh air. Well, uh, going back to finding places to explore in the Bay Area, if you guys know of any, feel free to let me know in the comment section because I, I really, <laughs> I spend a lot of time trying to find interesting things to do. Like last weekend, I spent my whole weekend like looking for things and I couldn't find anything. Occasionally, things like this pop up but not all the time. And you know, it ends up, I just kind of end up wasting my weekend. Just about made it back down to her car just a few minutes late after the park closed. <laughs> so hopefully they don't, ooh, careful. <laughs> so hopefully they don't, uh, you know, find us or something. Probably should be okay. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Be sure to check out some of my other content if you're new to the channel and uh, you know, help me out. Click the like and subscribe button and uh, we'll see you in the next one.